Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and uh, last night there was a, an upgrade to the RPG Maker MV, or an update rather, and they fixed uh, some bugs, and they've also announced that um, there are some bugs that they know about, but they just haven't fixed them yet, and they're working on them. So if you're having issues with the automated auto tiles, and uh, they, they know about that, and there's another one uh, about like typos and certain language errors. Um, they know about those and they're fixing those as well. Um, they did two updates back to back. Um, they there there is an issue. Some people are having a problem with their RPG Maker running super duper fast, like over a thousand frames per second. Um, and I've seen this on certain emulating software, like I, iPhone and uh, Android emulator. Uh, when I'm trying to set, when I was trying to set up an APK. And a uh, side note. Trying to get your uh, RPG Maker game onto an Android is a ginormous, complicated task. Um, I still haven't been able to do it. You know, I've got this nice Shield tablet and trying to get uh, my game put on there, and I spent all day messing with trying to set up my environment resources. But it's just a, a big, big, uh, long task. And uh, hopefully, if, if you know anything about how to, to make that process easier, uh, let me know. Get back to me on that. But back to the RPG Maker MV news. Um, if if you're having an issue, uh, they want you to download uh, CPU-Z, and this is a an application that I've used for a long time. And basically, it just tells you what your the the hardware that you're using. It just tells you what you've got in your system, and uh, like the the speed of your RAM, the speed of your processor, the the make, the models, everything on it. So. Um, they want you to run that program while MV is open and then go to the tools section and export that as HTML and they would like you to send that HTML to them at rmlunaengine at gmail.com and uh, if, you, if you can do this, uh, if you're having this issue please do this because the more feedback they get the more examples they can look, uh, look at and the faster they can fix this for the people who are having issues with this. Personally I'm not having any issues with RPG Maker MV except for the fact that it won't copy, copy paste a lot of uh, most of the, the, the areas and a couple of times it de-clicks like I'm holding down the click and it automatically deselects. So small bugs like that. Um, but I, I can imagine some people are really frustrated. Uh, I am having an issue setting up, uh, like I said, getting an APK. Like uh, the export to, to Android, uh, you get the www folder and that works fine. But trying to turn that into an APK is a long task. There is a shortcut. You can use some software, but then they're limiting you to 100 megabytes for your entire uh, game. And that is so, so constricting. Uh, you basically have to delete all your sounds and and delete all your music except for a few tracks and 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 most of your pictures and it basically if your game is under 100 megabytes it's really really a small game and that i mean the smallest i can make mine is about 3 400 megabytes so and and i've got 32 gigs on this tablet and a lot of people have you know that much space and more so um i don't see why it's, it's a problem with that software uh, but anyway um they've they've done some updates but that's not what this video is all about. I, I want to show you guys real quick. Um, I, I've been uh, going to the forums, uh, the RPG Maker MV forums, and you can go, you can join it. Uh, it's www.rpgmakermv.co. And uh, if you do, I'll bring it up here. Um, be sure to add me, Driftwood Gaming, on this forums. Add me as a friend. Um, I've put in some resource requests for some scripts. And uh, a crafting system is one of them. And if you have used VX, uh, VX Ace, there's a really cool crafting script called Mr. T's Crafting Simple. And it's by uh, Mr. Trivel. And a really, really awesome script. And I've customized it and spent hours in this thing, you know, setting up my, my crafting menus perfectly. But uh, MV doesn't have anything like that yet. So as a work a workaround, I've designed a, a quick little common events uh, item system where you can. It's sort of like a crafting system, but it's really not a, a fully fledged crafting system. We're still waiting for some talented JavaScript programmers, coders, to really make a plugin that'll that'll build the menus and, and automate a lot of this for you. But uh, if you want to, you can copy this format and make a simple crafting system so that you can have some sort of crafting system. Let's just get right into it. So um, the first thing you want to do is create some resource items, like like the items you're going to use to turn into 
uh, your final product. For this, uh, we'll, we'll use the one I just made, the recipe for some scaled greaves. And uh, this is going to award some uh, leg slot armor, because luckily in MV you have this uh, really awesome equipment type setup, so you can just change the, the maximum number of equipment type that you have. So I've allowed, to, instead of just feet, uh, I've got legs and feet armor. And then you go to uh, armors, and you can create that scaled greaves armor. Or, you know, you can make a helmet or make it a sword or really just do whatever you want. And uh, then you're going to go to items and you're going to uh, create your resource items. So for this, I've decided to make feral hides and bird snake scales. And with those items, you can put them uh, on, like, your creatures for drop rates. So instead of having your creatures drop the actual, like, weapon, because it wouldn't make sense that a creature would drop a sword or something. In, in, in my game, I kind of go with, like, they drop feathers and scales and then you use those to create you know your armors and stuff so you create the resource items uh, in this case it's like feral hide and some scales and then um, to make those I, I've done this in the past too I'll just go over it real quick you make it a regular item that's not consumable and you get the prices up to you but you give it no scope and never on the occasion with no effects or anything you just basically give it a graphic give it a name and say that it's used in crafting uh, crafting somehow and then you're going to go to common events and then you can create a text uh, recall it recipe for whatever you're going to make and go to common events and say um, get, let the player know what uh, they're going to be making and then give them an option yes or no uh, also it's it's good to include uh, the required items that it's going to need to make that item so they know, like, before they say yes, craft it, they know that they're going to be consuming these items. And then what you're going to do is you're going to insert a control variable. If they say yes, if they say no, then you can just break and nothing happens. If they say yes, you're going to control variables. And on this variable, you're going to create a new variable for the name of the item. Um, just type it in as, like, a whatever um, iron ore count or something. And then you're going to set that to the game data. And you're going to go to items, and then you're going to go with uh, whatever item that you created that you want it to consume, and, and set that to possession count, so just game data. Um, and then so that'll set a variable for the number of that item in your inventory. And do that for however many items you want this to consume. And then you're going to create a conditional statement under the control variables saying if the, that variable um, that you created, in this case feral hides count, is uh, greater than or equal to the number that you're going to make it require. Say it would take three iron ore to make an ingot or something. You would make that iron ore count greater than or equal to three. And uh, then underneath that, if it's multiple items, uh, under that first statement, uh, you're going to have another statement. But you're also uh, on that first conditional branch. You're going to uh, create an else branch because what if they don't have that uh, item? So on the else handler for that, you're going to say you don't have enough of that first item. Uh, in that, uh, if you're going to have multiple, you're just going to nest conditional statements. Um, so th the second uh, conditional statement will be the same thing, but it'll be like the second item. You make a count for that. Um, say it takes like a hammer or something, and you can say greater than or equal to one or two or whatever. Uh, and as well, create an, uh, an else handler. So on that second handler, say you don't have enough of that second item. And then you're going to um, remove, so if they have all the items, um, you're going to remove the items that they have. So they have more than four um, uh, feral hides, they've got more than four bird scales, then we're going to take those four and we're going to award the scaled greaves. Uh, and then we're going to play a sound effect, you know, victory, you, and then give the player uh, some text so that they know that they crafted that item. And that's basically it. Really, really simple crafting system. So let's go ahead and uh, go into game and. Uh, I basically awarded. Uh, oh, before oh, that's there's one more step. Sorry about that. There's one more step. You have to go to items and create uh, the recipe for that item, or you can put it on a uh, an NPC or an event and just have that event call a, that common event. But if you want to make it so that the player can carry around the recipe and then just make it whenever they find the items, you'll just go to items and you'll um, give it the name and then tell write the the description of of what it's going to require. And uh, the price is up to you. Key item or regular doesn't really matter. Consumable, it's once again up to you. It could be a single-use recipe, uh, or uh, you can have it like an expensive recipe. Once they buy it, they can make as many as long as they have the other resources. That's sort of what I did. And uh, you can make it so that they do it in battle, but I, I wouldn't really want to do that. 
um, I made it menu only and then it doesn't really matter right here as long as you say um, I think one ally or all allies will still work you know what it might even work with none so you can play around with that and see if it, I know it works with all allies and then in the effects you're gonna call on that common event so edit go over to other go to the bottom and call that common event that we created in our common events and for us this time it was the recipe scaled greaves and then you can award that item uh, at like a, a shop processing you can just put that in, in the, uh, your merchandise and so that the player can buy the recipe or you could put it in a treasure chest or however you want to award the player with that you could even set it as a an auto start so like parallel process with an erase event or uh, self switch at the beginning of the game they can start with recipes but what I've done here is I've uh, created a treasure chest that's awarded a bunch of resources and uh, and some gold uh, th normally the player would have to earn this stuff but for the sake of testing we're gonna just award ourselves all this stuff at the beginning uh, and we're gonna see if everything works right got 20,000 gold and a bunch of other supplies so he's gonna sell us some recipes we'll go ahead and buy one of each of these recipes since there's they're uh, not single use one should be fine so well um, I think I've made them key items yeah so we're gonna go ahead and uh, I don't think we have the sapphire for that one but I know I awarded enough to make the scaled greaves one so we'll go in and try to make the scaled greaves you want to craft the scale greaves it's going to take four feral hides and four bird snake scales all right we got some victory music we, uh, crafted a pair of scaled greaves so let's double check to see if it uh, took four of each we had uh, 20 to start with we've got 16 feral hides and we've got 16 birds uh, snake scales so it's took it took four and uh, as far as armors we got our uh, scaled greaves there cool and then you can just make this for each item it's a little more time consuming than if you had like a menu set up or a, a plugin that had like uh, where you can just do a script call or a plugin uh, command but it, it'll work for now until we've got some uh, some talented JavaScript crafters authors to, to make it for us I hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you do um, subscribe to the con uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this you want more tutorials and uh, add me on rpgmakermv.co so that a uh, really uh, nice environment over here there's a lot of uh, helpful people here and if you have any questions about MV you can go to this forum right here and uh, yeah it's good stuff man um, see you guys in the next tutorial thank you guys for watching